Hello, and welcome to another Fleet Ops audio commentary brought to you by ClintSat. Uh, should be a pretty good game here on Broken Borders. It's a 16K by 16K map. Uh, we've got several good players in here looking to see some awesome action. Uh, while they pause the action so that we can uh, get some settings going, I'll introduce the players. Down here on the bottom, we have Ray, who's the white Romulans. Moving across to his allies, we have the Yellow Dominion, played by Beat, 2K10. And their final compatriot is the Purple Romulans, played by Old Time Pro. Looking at their opponents, we see the Blue Borg, that is Arash, 8472. Looks like he's just setting up the standard Borg build conduction matrix. And we see the Red Federation played by Enfrost. Enfrost, pretty good player, known for his Saber Spam. Looks like we are going to see something different today. We've got both the engineering and the, sh um, the Antares Yard coming up right up front. Then there, the final player is the Orange Dominion played by Fallout. Um, great player. Watched a couple of his games earlier today. Started off very similar. Uh, did some S2s and even popped out some C11. It was pretty exciting. We do see that he is Breen. So expect to see some ships with some extra torpedo damage today. Uh, checking over here, we can see that N Frost is uh, Risner, I believe. Let me check here. One more second here. Nope, uh, I was wrong. He is Mason. And note that um, he does have Miner's Mining, even though he has not built his uh, storage docks. But it uh, looks like they're coming up now. we got one storage dock coming up here, and looks like he's going to expand pretty aggressively down in the middle. Um, that's interesting. You don't see that every day. I wonder if this is going to make him hurting on Tritanium a little bit. We do see chassis level 1 going up and nothing in that shipyard, so uh, I'm not sure if that's going to put him behind or not. And then from the Borg, Rash has got some uh, miners going. He is optimized, and we do see nodes level 1 going up. So pretty standard build up on the, uh, on the top team. We do see that Fallout has gone for... A technology lab, so uh, should be pushing in either either uh, some extra technologies for those smaller ships, or going into some tougher things like B5 and T15. Catching up with the bottom team, we see that the uh, uh, White Romulans, Mr. Ray 320, setting up for some Laval. I would imagine here. Yeah, three Laval popped in there. Has not created any mining yet. Interesting. I'm not sure what the uh, the plan was there, but he does have three miners and several more coming up. So, and he should be he should be caught up pretty quick. And oh, let's just check out real quick and see which avatar we're looking at. Uh, we do see the Griffin, so that is a Helev Romulan. Beat has his. Uh, small yard out and we see that he's Breen and he does have his tech lab up uh, no ships going there so to me that says we're gonna see a large yard from the Dominion on the bottom as well uh, interesting placement of the refinery uh, 3.15 brought into play uh, s some changes to the Dominion their workers are just a little bit slower than they used to be. So uh, this distance, I'm wondering will, if that will affect his rate of mining. We'll have to check in on that later and see if see if he's a little bit low on resources. Um, my guess is he is just about to put that big yard up as there's still no, still no ships there. And there we go, large yard. Yeah, I've been checking up at his competitor. Uh, we see that Fallout does not have the money to put a yard, large yard yet. Um, still has not made any ships. So 
be interesting to see how those two start to differ in their play styles. Um, coming up. And Old Time has, is just starting his mining. So all players here on the uh, on this map have chosen to be a little bit slower on building their mining stations. Really rushing to get those ships. Uh, we do see that there is Tal Shiar Academy, so I expect to see Generix here. Yeah, it's pretty... I'm, I'm very interested to see how, how fast these guys can start ger um, generating ships, those that have skipped on building their mining stations. First thing. Checking up on the Borg, Arash has not uh, not set up a node yet, but um, has gone and aggressively expanded. Um, does have? Oh, I, I was mistaken. He does have two scout cubes already heading out. Two scout cubes, and instead of probes, it looks like he has popped out some miners, and now he's starting in on some probes. So looking to put some early pressure on. Probably wants to make sure that the Romulan is not able to fully expand. Romulan miners are a little weak, so I think the scout cubes should have a field day down here. I'm um, checking up over on the on the top. We do see that Ray and Old Time have really pushed in with some some reens, and that uh, that Laval did make him did make Fallout stop building that, that large yard. That will definitely set him back. Um, though he is trying to set it up over here, we'll see if they catch it. Down at the bottom, we do see those scout cubes really putting some pressure in on those miners. As we do see Generix coming in here, that will not be too big of a deal. I'm pretty confident that Old Time's going to be able to keep full production of Generix, even if he's just left to those uh, that single moon pair. Rash did a great job of staying away from the starbase. Only took a couple little pot shots. Uh, these are. Looks like we have an EM cube and an inter intercept cube, so should be able to catch ships that are flying away. Uh, Tal Shiar Academy is set up a little further from the starbase than you normally see, and that does that does let the Borg do some damage to it, but as you can see, just not enough to really really hurt it. And Old Time is coming back with his Riens to try to stop that. Uh, B5 coming up from Fallout. B5s, they are um, what many many feel is just a crazy powerful ship. Uh, these those fighters just do a great job at taking the last uh, last little bit of hull out of repairing sh or ships that are trying to retreat. Uh, really nasty, really nasty. Let's check in on the Federation side. Looks like they were able to steal a Dominion scout. Um, good work there. Sorry, I missed that. Um, we do see some monsoons going over there, so uh, single yard monsoon spam for uh, for the Federation did capture his um, his moons, his expansion, and has a phaser turret set up. So not too bad, but does not have his storage dock for his main Tritanium. Just now putting that up. I've um, noticed his Tritanium is a little low. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal since he does have his expansion, but um, it does seem to have kept him down to one yard. And do we see Proxy Torpedo yet? Do not see Proxy Torpedo. Um, but if you notice, these monsoons were used to capture that scout, and they are all low on crew. So not quite as effective as they, uh, they might otherwise be. If we check here, uh, we do not see alley repair going up yet. Um, got some B8s coming down. B8s have these handy dandy civilian shuttle bays. So if one of these B5s dies, the fighters will be able to dock with the B8 and it turns the B8 into a little carrier. See Ray putting some pressure on the Federation. Take bypassing this Tritanium, going straight for the Dilithium. Uh, thankfully, that is the resource that Enfrost does not need, as at least it's as vitally important. We do note that um, we do have the regeneration for the Revolves. Yeah, a lot of excitement going on. We have some 
Radiant by old time. He's pushing ahead. He's got these Riens. They do not have base plates. So that, that will make them a little weaker. Um, we see a B5 from Beat. It is the prototype. It looks like he does not have... Well, he does have one regular B5. Another B5 there. I think you can kiss these scout cubes goodbye. I don't think they're going to be able to make it out. Just look how much damage that... Prototype can put out. Rash did a good job keeping this one out to keep that scout cube alive. Um, and not, not a bad trade. I mean, I guess he did kill some Rians. That Rian's pretty much dead. Um, I don't see any more going to repair. It's probably not a bad trade. You do notice that there are. The mining that was lost uh, in that initial attack by Arash has not been replaced yet. Still operating basically off of what what looks like one moon pair. Probably going to want to see those miners come back out pretty soon. Yeah, and we do see that uh, we do not have any more generics being produced by old time. Breen cruisers coming out. Not a bad deal. Uh, little little battle over here in the Green Nebula. It's a little of all getting out. Almost caught this. Almost caught that war frigate. This is where it gets real tough for for Ray. He's got um, these super tough B5s. They are um, short range. They are not medium range, uh, as they would be if he was. Um, pure tech so the Lavals aren't going to do that much extra damage until they use their third special which Ray does not quite have yet um, he's still pumping out Lavals uh, he hasn't been harassed all that much so he's still able to do that and get this yard uh, so good job Ray for able to try to get that up let's we'll see if they can push these out we do have three B5s coming in from Beat so that definitely is enough to push the push the top team back. Looking over here, don't see anything else exciting going on. Still fighting over here. I think they're going to get this war frigate. Lots of B5s. Lots of B5s. Should be fighter central. Coming back. Do not see Aller repair here yet. Oh, and we got a little strike group by Enfrost. Uh, Enfrost is really good at microing these uh, these fast Federation ships. Uh, looks like this scout is possibly tagged to these monsoon. Good deal. Good deal. They'll keep eyes on those ships throughout the throughout the game. Only, only lost. I think maybe one, one or two miners there. Uh, is getting his mining back on his main. Um, we'll see. Is he producing ships again? Is still not really producing ships. Uh, that that is a little surprising. We see scouts. 